Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by today. Today I'm going to be working on a, a Rolodex card. I about said altered index card. <laughs> and I'm going to be using a paper piecing from LittleScrapsOfHeavenDesigns.com and I'll show that to you. It is called Ball Gnome. <laughs> so that's what I'm using. And I'm using this paper that is old, old, old. <laughs> And it is a Daisy D's. So if you know about Daisy D's, you know this is but hang and archivers. <laughs> Came from archivers and it's Daisy D's. It's old. <laughs> I miss archivers. They are a little bit higher, you know, but I miss them. Okay. So um, this is gonna be how this goes, but first we're gonna put our little guy together. And I had everything laid out really good, and then I turned on my camera and realized you couldn't see it, and I tried to move it down. And I'm also missing a hand. What on earth? <laughs> I had everything laying here. How? Oh, there. I think it's under there. Yeah. Okay, good. I hate that when that happens. Okay, first thing we'll do is put our pumpkin together. Get my glue. And I usually use Scotch Quick Dry. Um, when I run out of it, I will go to our glitter glue. But I've just used this for years and years, and so I kind of know how it's gonna work. Okay, so then this is his little face. I gotta remember how to do all this. This is his mustache, which I just turned it upside down. So I'm gonna put his nose on there. I need to make sure I'm up. Yeah, I could go a little bit higher. My camera's set weird because usually I'm way, way down here on my mat. I'm on the top half today. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. I think I did that okay. It kind of needs to come up a little bit. It needs to up about right there. That looks more like a mustache. Then this is his face. I'm trying to figure that. Okay, this is his beard. That's what I have going on that's wrong. I kept thinking I've got something not right here. I have not paper pieced in a long time. Oh, trying to get this computer to run my cameo yesterday about made me nuts. I'm telling you. Okay, so I usually put this, I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, so this goes, this goes on here, like this. And then this will go here, so I need to put that on first. I think I've forgotten how, you guys. Oh, and I'm just assuming you know what I'm doing with my Rolodex, let me show you. Let me get this on here first. This is my Rolodex die that I have. I got it from Amazon recently. And it is KS Craft. They have a YouTube. I'll have to go look at it. And it also, it doesn't show this on the on Amazon that I saw, but it's got these two dies and then some snowflakes. So that's pretty cool. There's been a lot of times I wish I had snowflake dies. I've got a couple in a die that I got last year. I don't have very many. That's it. <laughs> okay, so I've got that there. And then this goes on here. I hope you guys are not picking up that theme song that's in the, on the TV in the background. I don't want to get a ding. <laughs> okay, then we got these two tiny eyebrows. I did not try to cut his eyes because I shrunk this down. I don't know. I don't remember how big it came, but I shrunk it a lot. A lot. It was probably supposed to be about six inches, and this one's going to be about three. So, let me find my I don't know what I want to use. I think I 
guess I'll just use this one. But I better make sure that it works before I... Well, I can't put it on that. Um... find a scrap of paper. What? Here we go. Here's an envelope that didn't turn out. Okay, that's a new one. I have one in there that's kind of not working real good. Okay, so you gotta have an eye right there. See why I didn't try to cut it? Because tiny. And the textured paper is making it hard for me to make a circle. Oh dear. Now he's going to have bigger eyes because I messed this up. Right now it's looking like a nose, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone because where it's not too even on the top, it doesn't matter because we put these little eyebrows. I'm trying to figure out which side is right. I think it's this side. Okay. Okay, got some out finally. I was trying not to squirt it real fast, but it wasn't. So we're gonna put his little eyebrows like this. Where'd the other one go? Why does this happen to me? Did you guys see where it went? I don't know why this, I can't possibly cut that one on my own. Sometimes if I miss something, I grab my... It didn't stick to me, did it? Are you kidding me? <sighs> what happened? I, I don't understand when this happens because I have done nothing to make it go away. I mean... It should just be sitting there. Mm. Oh, golly. Um, I don't know what to do. So I know. They were just there. Okay, we're going to move on. And I will get an eye brow on there later. We're going to put this right there, but I'm not going to put glue right here. Because that way I can slide that eyebrow up after I cut it. But it is a big deal for me to cut it because I've got my... I couldn't find a way to get my laptop on here without blocking my... I don't know why I just did that. It's going to stick to the thing without blocking my silhouette. So I have to put my laptop somewhere and then get my silhouette going. And, oh. <laughs> that looks awful. Why am I having so much trouble with this? So then, he's sitting on the pumpkin. So we're going to put a little bit of glue right here. I feel like I'm a newbie at this. It looks funny with one eyebrow. <laughs> I will get it fixed. That goes there. I have glue seep out underneath. I just take the tip of my tweezers and pick up the glue and then it looks fine. Now see, I just had that in my hand and I didn't even know it was stuck to me. So I'm thinking I probably dropped that eyebrow, but it's too tiny to find. Okay, so now this one goes over here. I 
I put those in the wrong place. Oh, I'm nuts. It looks okay. Y'all. <laughs> You're probably screaming, that looks stupid the way you did that. And it did. That's what caught my attention and told me I did it wrong. There we go. Okay, now we're going to put this on here, and I'm just going to lift him up, and it goes, no, I think it goes on this side. Okay, it goes on this side. Yes. The curved top is the top. The curved part is the top. And I think I need to have it angled a little bit. There we go. It has been a long day for me. <laughs> and I'm finally home. I guess I'm not really doing that great. Where'd it go? <laughs> Comedy hour. Okay. This seals it. I gotta start doing this more. Or I'm gonna lose my ability to do it. Okay, there we go. Now we got these leaves and these teeny tiny stems. I was surprised my machine cut it because sometimes. It's an older machine, and sometimes it is not happy about doing these very tiny, tiny things. It box at it, and it shreds them. Something I like to do when I'm doing something like this is just go back over that glue with my tip and get it rubbed in a little bit. That way there is not as much that squeezes out of it. So how's your day going? It is a Friday when I'm doing this been to town and done my thrift store shopping. Went alone today. My husband and stepdad are building us a shed in the backyard. So um, they were working on that. It's super hot here today. 98 degrees. Like, come on, it's the middle of September. Can we cool down a little bit? It'll probably do like it does a lot of times with us. It'll be hot, 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 and then all of a sudden we're going to be in the deep freeze. No in between. And so I went to those, and then I went and spent some time with my mom. We got out her fall decorations. And um, did some stuff for her house. And then I had a doctor appointment with my primary in town. No, I didn't have to go out of town. Um, for my pre-op physical. So I'm hoping I pass that because I haven't seen my cardiologist in over a year. <laughs> but she said if my um, 
EKG is formal, then she won't have to have him okay it. Because he probably won't okay it until I see him. And it is September 20th, and my surgery is October 11th. So I don't know about your area, but that could be hard to get in. So. Oops, I didn't get glue all the way down here. So I did that. That took a while because I had to see her and then I had to run down to the hospital lab and get my labs. So it took a little while. Then I ran by the post office and got a box to ship off the journal in, the Little House Journal. And I was really stunned at how much the prices have went up. I have not shipped a priority box in a long time. I was like, are you kidding me? Woo! But it's all good. I got it in a smaller box, so... I was afraid I was going to have to go up to the next box, and that's like $25. I thought, my goodness, you're ripping us off. Okay. So he should fit on here pretty good. And he does. He fits really good. Um, I'm going to have to use my pencil around him to um, make him stick out. And I think I'm going to stamp with my round stitch stamp on here. So. leave it out because I use it so much. circle. It still looks a little bit like an egg, doesn't it? Okay, that will work. Now, oh my, I really smeared the ink. Okay, so I'm going to put this I have my mushroom stamps here. And I was thinking about this one. I don't know. Yeah, that one would work. I put could put one on each side. So that's what we'll do. And I gotta get a block real quick. Might even do an acorn. So what I thought I would do is pick PCs. Um, we could do one with red and then I'm hoping I can get the stems out of this and I think I can and I could probably get the eight 
worn out of that, or maybe a different one for the acorn. This has pretty flowers that come with it too. Um, and then let's do the yellow, but I thought I had a scrap of yellow. Hmm. I really thought I had a scrap of that somewhere in there. There, there's a scrap. Okay. So, oh, wow, I am so hot. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do, I'll we'll stamp this one on here. Then, we're going to stamp it on here. And I'm going to stamp it right. I'm going down a little bit so that I got something to tuck under when I piece it together. So see, I put a little bit of the mushroom top on there. Okay, so we got that one. And then we'll do this one. And we'll just stamp it right there. And then I'll need to get it onto here. I think it will go right here. Okay. And then, I'm trying to decide how I want to do the acorn. And this is a Bow Bunny stamp the set that I got at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if you can still get it. Okay, so let's stamp these guys. showed up better than I thought it would, so I'm glad. All right. Now, I'm just going to set all this up there, and we will get this put together. I would put, pick teeny tiny things to have to cut out. I'm going to leave a little bit of a border on them. It'll make them cut faster for me. Plus, they're tiny little things. You'll be seeing this several days from now. I'm working ahead. So I hope everything is going good for you right now. I saw I was watching while I was preparing. I was watching Louisa Heinzel and um, Holly. How did I forget that? Um, <laughs> I cannot believe I forgot that. Um, anyway, it's almost time for December River. They're getting, they had their first video out. I'm like, when did it get here this fast? <laughs> I don't know about you, but this year has flown by for me. I haven't even really done anything fun. I just, it's just flown by. I saw that pop up. I thought, really? It's time? But it is. This is when they started talking about it last year. And last year I didn't get near as much done on it as I wanted to. It seems like December just starts out okay. I'm working okay. And then it just goes nuts. I'm sure it's like that for everybody. Or probably a lot worse than mine. <laughs> We don't have a lot on our calendar yet because I really haven't. I've been scheduling any rechecks on doctor appointments into January instead of December. I 
think I have a dentist appointment, but my dentist is so busy that you take what they give you or you just might be in next year. So, I took it. <laughs> mushroom tops or bottoms so that they don't show. Okay, now I've got the acorns. I hope I'm not boring you. <laughs> This one it's in the bottom of. So I'm not gonna go to all that trouble to cut that out. Oops. All right, so let's get this, oops, I forgot I gotta cut this better around these, or they're gonna show. That one got right up to it, this one. I'm not worried about being picky. Got a stupid nap flying out. All right. What do I do with my tweezers? Do I leave them up here? We'll take um, this. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta cut. I didn't do these right at all. I've got to cut these off. Okay, I thought I messed that up. I was staring at it thinking, what did I just do to that thing? <laughs> Alright, so we'll take this and we're putting a little bit of glue right here. It's a little bit lighter than acorns would be, but that's what I had, so that's what I'm using. I could maybe run my gathered twigs over that, but I don't want to lose the detail, so I kind of don't think I will. I just turned that thing upside down, didn't I? Now, I need to do the same thing on this one. So I want to, um, where'd they go? There it is. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on this part. That right there. And we'll do the same thing on this one. And put that right there, and I'm gonna have to cut around it. I've got some of the bottom part showing. I didn't cut it in close enough. trash out of the way. And we'll figure this out. So this little guy is going to go right there. And that looks really cool with that sewing around there. And this little guy can go right there. And this one can go right there. So I'm going to get those glued down. I'm going to switch it because this is almost the same color as that leaf and it's not showing up. So that's why I did that all of a sudden. I realized it was blending right in with that leaf. I kept looking at it thinking, what am I not liking? Okay. Now I think we'll put this down. And I've totally lost my acorns. How's that happen, you guys? Where do they go? Oh, that one's there. Okay, I got them. I thought that was the scrap. Oh, y'all, I'm losing it. I had to go somewhere every day this week but once. And I'm a homebody. That doesn't work for me. They were all day things, except today it wasn't all day, but I didn't get home until 3.30. So it's kind of close to an all day thing. It just fries me when I have to be gone that much. I am such a homebody. I like to be home. I don't know, I'm sorry I'm talking like that because I'm squeezing that glue. I don't know the meaning of bored when I'm home. I don't know. It doesn't, I, I can't get bored at home. There's just too much fun stuff to do. Okay, so then maybe we'll put this one on this side because we've got the longer mushroom. Put that one there. I like that one there. I don't know. Let's see if I can. looks better. Ooh, I lost you. Put this one tucked underneath that leaf a little bit. Now let's do the same thing with this one. I didn't put any ink on here. I'm just using what's left in my sponge. That way it's not going dark. Now where do we want this one? Yeah. Do something with this how I cut this. I'm not happy with it. It's too sharp. There. Okay. So maybe right there. Yeah, I like it right there. I didn't want to cover this stem of mushroom because you might be looking at it then later and going, what is that? And then we are done. And please excuse the missing eyebrow. I will get one cut and put it on there. Put the lid on this before it dries on me. I don't know if I can get a little bitty white dot in there. What's this one? Eight by five. That one doesn't have a number. Oh, where's all the ones with numbers? Oh, I put them in this one. That's why. I can't think of what is going on. Ten. The last one to pull out. Oh, no. 
There's even one more. There we go. We got five. <laughs> All right. Let me test it on a scrap here. Make sure it's moving because I haven't used it for a while. And it's not. But why can't I make it work? Let me get a darker scrap to there. Okay. Sometimes if you color on your hand. There, now it's coming out, I think. Okay. I'm going to try to put just a little, little bitty dot. Okay. So I'll show this to you up close. I hope you don't get tired of this Rolodex shape. <laughs> there you go. And it's Fall Gnome at LittleScrapsOfHeavenDesigns.com. Thank you. You have a blessed day. I'll see you soon. Bye.